Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari has said the country would need to combine monetary policies with fiscal and structural policies in order to overcome its worst economic crisis in decades and return to growth. The President was speaking at a meeting of African Central Bank governors in Abuja. Buhari said the continent was confronted with slowing growth, weakening demand, rising inflation, restrictions to capital flows, rising debt levels, increases in exchange rate volatility, and a depletion of foreign reserves. Economists have criticized President Buhari and the government for not doing enough to address the economic crisis in the country. South Africa and Nairobi have been hit the hardest. We have also had to contend with the effect of the Ebola virus disease, which struck some countries in the West Africa and South Asia. Furthermore, China made a trade and business partner to a number of African countries is currently slowing down as it enables its economy sparking fears of further weakening. Facing new challenges, African central banks have been at their best in keeping African economies afloat through proactive and effective combination of conventional and innovative military policies. I urge you to continue to look for ordinary home solutions, not really um, fit for all purposes. Prescriptions handed down from abroad. The world is a dynamic place. In innovation, we can survive. In Nigeria, the Central Bank of Nigeria has for many years the economy of stimulus measures through so specific intervention programs. I think these measures should be sustained through good times and through difficult times. The high level of attention of state leaders today are the Africa and Central Bank government symposium from outside Africa and general parts of our continent is a testimony of our collective resolve and commitment to utilize the platform provided by our association to develop and proper solutions to the development of the challenges facing our continent. That is why this year's theme title on going to the Convention of World Policies, implications of World Policy and Peace Financial Stability in Africa. Well, it has shown more of the major challenges we are going to be at the moment in the world and our continent in particular. 